Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video, playing Doomsday. I am playing uh, pretty much the same deck that I played last week, um, which is Mark Tobias' uh, uh, Eternal Weekend, Prague, and um, Tokyo. I believe it was in Tokyo, it was in Japan. for um, Deck, which is a, a, an Esper Doomsday a deck with a green splash for Veil of Summer and Carpet of Flowers in the sideboard, the carpet. Um, a f like a minor, a few minor changes. After uh, much deliberation with my uh, my Doomsday friend Kai Sawatari, I've decided to go with two Edge of Autumn, one Street Wraith rather than the other way around. I I'm not, I'm, I'm not completely sure uh, about this, but the the thing is you can you can rampant growth i believe the card is you can you can like mana ramp with this spell as well uh so you can jump ahead a turn and get your basic island and basically be a, a turn quicker with uh if you have the one ring in hand um but that might be a, a place where i don't know we'll, we'll we'll see how how often it ends up biting me where like for instance if you have dark ritual doomsday in your hand in your opening hand, and then you have Street Wraith Edge and a land, then that's a, a, a same turn win. Whereas if you have two edges, because it's turn one and you only have one land drop, then it's, you know, it's not, so. Uh, other than that, I made a few tweaks here. I upped the, the white sideboard cards to, um, to six. I actually, there was something I wanted to do, which may or may not be completely ridiculous but i'm actually just gonna go look for the sideboard card now okay yeah so i wanted to add tividar's crusade um mostly because lately in leagues i've been running into just a bunch of of uh the the latest flavor of goblin deck um which is the name sticker goblin sort of just basically uh snowball out uh, a bunch of goblins uh bomb but there, there's this uh Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but um, the, these, it, it's a it's a goblin card that costs three mana and it has boast where you sacrifice a creature, and then you deal two plus the creature's converted mana cost in damage to any target. And it's like it's super lethal versus Doomsday, because it can sacrifice itself to just lava axe you for you know deal five damage, and if they have if they ever have like more than each goblin is at least a a, a lightning bolt and at worst like a, a horrendous amount of, uh, of um of damage not to say that that tividar's crusade does any particular work in, against that card specifically it was just to say that's sort of what i've been like seeing the deck seeing in the deck but i'm just running into goblins all over the place so i thought it would be funny slash perhaps useful to have a copy of tividar's crusade um i believe it's from the dark originally i could be wrong and could be a legends card but i'm pretty sure it's from the dark a pretty gruesome sort of <laughs> artwork. Uh, white, white, one, destroy all goblins. Um, I, I cut the fourth Veil of Summer. Uh, Veil of Summer is amazing versus uh, discard, obviously, but I think three is probably okay. Although, if you were min-maxing and not expecting to play against goblins much, uh, you, you'd get more mileage out of the... Out of the uh, the 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 veil the fourth veil so yeah versus um th this deck versus tempo my plan is basically to half pivot so i'm gonna board in all the removal and the shoulders and the carpets and bow masters and i'm going to board out uh actually i haven't mapped this out so this will be a good exercise um why don't i just move the sideboarded cards here and then we can see how this lines up. So I want to board out some number of Doomsday. Uh, I want to board out the Knight's Whisper. I want to board out the LED and the and the Consider. I probably want to board out Street Wraith and maybe even all the Cyclers. Um, I think Teferi is not at its best, but I, I, I'm not sure. Um, so let's make some cuts there. And I think probably cutting some number of petals is okay. Um, 
Okay, so that's 11 cards. So maybe the last cut is is Teferi. I mean, Teferi is good in that it's it's a card that they really have to answer because it blanks all their counter spells. But the problem is that they can put pressure on the board and then they have Pyroblasts that can sort of counter him after the fact, as well as probably Lightning Bolt. So I don't, I don't hate, like... This is a blue sorcery speed spell um, that costs three mana. So it's sort of, it's vulnerable to days. It's vulnerable to Wasteland. It's vulnerable to Pyroblast. Um, I don't mind cutting him, but I'm not the most uh, experienced sort of, uh, you know, um, what's the word? Um, like control player. So, but this is probably how I'm going to sideboard. And, and yeah. But I'd love to. I honestly would love some 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 feedback here. Okay, um, uh, enough talking. Let's go jump into league, and let's probably not. We probably won't even face tempo, so who cares? <laughs> okay, on the draw for round number one, I'm going to keep this hand. It uh, it plays. It's a little bit upsetting that uh, my blue card to force uh, to pitch to force is Lorian because I kind of want to be using that to get to. I guess green mana to turn on Veil or black mana to get closer to Doomsday. Well, we'll see what this uh, draw step. Uh, oh, careful study. Oh. Uh, an opponent mulligan to six. No one putting careful study on the stack. Uh, have your best interest at heart. Um, so this could be blue dredge or it could be blue black reanimator or it could be like a um like a hogak deck i think like if it's blue black reanimator um that deck is likely to play counter spells so if this gets dazed it's terrible but i think i'm actually gonna i'm gonna force this if it is dredged then this is their enabler they could have then i guess whatever lines that diamond and just go nuts but um yeah all right Oof. okay um, I mean, we go for that, I think. Okay, so they, ha they have the daze, and they don't daze the force on the careful study. That's really interesting. Okay, so that's pretty, uh, pretty devastating for us, but, um, eh, maybe they have another careful study, and that's why. Okay, so this likely is reanimator. And there's the second careful study. I suppose it could still be the dredge deck I've seen. Okay, a Dark Ritual and a Polluted Delta. That doesn't seem like what you want to bin. Okay, so they probably take one ring here. But they used the pedal to do that, plus the careful study. So I think card economy-wise, we are still up here. Um, oh, Lauren revealed. That was it's not the worst draw. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a tropical island here to protect my hand from further discard. I have one card in hand. I wonder what it is. Um, they have not put a creature into the graveyard, and they're now they're just passing. Um, okay, I'm gonna say wizard here. I don't think it's very often that you get dark ritual doomsday f countered, and then continue to play for very long, but we are making a fist of it here. Oh, need another land. Uh, yeah, I think, I don't think I lose anything by keeping the pedal in hand. Um, okay, come on, land. Nope, Days is not bad though. Um, they are like choked on, on, on land here. Maybe they're like trying to build to discard too because they have a, a fatty in hand. Okay, we're rebuilding quite nicely, but we do need a land. Practically any land will do, but not that's not entirely true, but... I wonder... Hmm. So we could burn our petal here. Which, um, like to get Teferi into play. No, I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to keep to fairy, keep my pedal because that's sort of how we get to Doomsday. And then to fairy pitches the force, 
uh, and then we also have days. So that was not the land I was hoping for. Now I'm thinking maybe I do play to fairy. Although, like, if they ever resolve uh, the big fatty, then it, it's sort of all over. Um, ugh. Gross. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass here. I think that the, the their plan has been now. They're gonna just draw to eight and then go to the the end of their turn. I would be surprised if they didn't, and then just put a like Grizzlebrand or whatever. A Traxa, sure. Okay, so now, um, now the the like we have to they we they they have more than one I'm sure uh, animation spell and they yeah they have lands here, no surprise. Um, but I mean it's it's okay. Let's uh, I guess force of will pitch to fairy here on the attract on the reanimate. Okay, they force back. Let's see if they have a second force. And we drew a second force. That's that's really good. Um, they could have second reanimate here. Okay, they don't. Would love to a land or a blue a blue spell, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I am actually gonna ponder here. Maybe we find land and oh, land. Well, Dark Ritual. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go for the Dark Ritual here and then have Force back up. Um, yeah. I don't think waiting to then win on the same turn is, is where I want to be at. Dark Ritual is on the stack and there's a long pause. I think that means they have a daze, but I could be wrong. They're thinking if if it's worth it for them to to like burn off the days. Okay, there's a days, which I'm going to pay for. Okay, so Thassa Cycler, I think I'm just gonna put like I'm I'm not gonna play around removal, so I am just gonna put the Cyclers, and then Thassa. We already have the 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 Cavern of Souls, so we we don't have to worry about a, a counter spell. Um. Uh. So yeah, I don't know. We we could put like a a consider in there. Actually, you know what? What we can do, we can. We don't have to put the street wraith in there. We can put a Lauren revealed and a land. That also sort of plays around. Uh. Plays around. Like removal. Or wait. No, 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 it doesn't, right? Because then we don't get to draw the Thassa. So I draw uh, Edge for the turn. Edge into Edge into Lauren Reveal. No, that doesn't work. What am I saying? Um, thought I was getting clever there, but too clever for my own good, it would seem. Um, okay, so let's put back the Street Wraith, and then I think the last card... I know I could put... I can just put Consider in here, but I, I kind of want to not, like... Imagine if I... They do something on their turn that I feel like I have to counterspell, and then they have drawn, like... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it, It's just that there's no reason... I think there's a higher risk of them somehow being able to put a counter spell on the stack on my next turn that there is them putting a removal spell. So that's what I'm saying. Um, let's, what, do we want to hide anything here? Maybe hide one of the copies of the One Ring. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. And that should be it. Okay, so One Ring on the bottom, then Thassa. Then some cyclers. Doing it like this, there's no need for the street wraith. And if somehow I end up getting to like two life, that would be just absolutely god awful. But uh, I don't. Also, don't really be, you know believe that that'll happen. Dark ritual. Okay, so they could have multiple counter spells here, or not counter, but like animation spells. But I'm gonna let this happen. It could also just be a hard cast grief. Oh. Or a hard cast monster. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter this, 
but I think even if they get to Atraxa, it won't matter unless they have something in their deck, like a Magus of the Moon or something. Okay, so, and they have another one, sure. That was somewhat expected. Let's see what they reveal. Uh, Force of Will, Atraxa, Jingataxius. Oh, that's a, a blast from the past. Archon of Cruelty will, if they, if they can get this into the, into play, which I don't think that they can, because, like, they probably take uh, Force of Will as their instant Atraxa or Jin as their blue creature to pitch the force, and then uh, Thought Seize as their sorcery and whatever, and then they they can Thought Seize my Lotus Petal, and then we untap and win. What they take? Yeah, they took Thought Seize, Archon, Brainstorm, and Underground Sea. Okay. Okay, so they would rather Brainstorm. They think getting Archon into play will th both discard my land and deal me three damage, which may or may not... Like, maybe I, I have I've put three Street Wraiths in the, in the pile. That would actually stop me then, but it is not the case. Okay. There we go. Pass the turn. Make float a blue wizard casting mana. Oops, float a blue regular mana. Cycle the Street Wraith. And Bob's your uncle. All right, off to the sideboard. We don't really have that much. I kind of wish I had the second uh, or the, the, the fourth Veil of Summer, but we don't. So we have Forces of Negation. I generally think it's, it's, a, it's incorrect to board in Shouldreds here. Because if they ever, like, uh, if they ever, uh, like, just, they can just discard it and reanimate it, and then we're in all sorts of trouble. Um, but let's see, I'm not really sure what I want to be cutting here. Teferi seems okay, but not amazing. Um, Bowmasters, it's a little bit the same as with Shouldred, but they're easier for us to get into play. I don't know. I don't know. They also, like, I guess if their plan is Atraxa, then neither of of these cards sort of are that impactful. So maybe, maybe just don't even bother with that sort of stuff. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe board in a couple of plows because they're likely to bring in, like, Dothy Voidwalkers and stuff like that. I think we can shave at least one Teferi. Maybe we shave two Teferi. And probably I'm okay shaving the, the pedal uh, sorry the LED and consider because I don't really want to be like going all balls to the wall here. I would rather like make past the turn piles, I think. Than like just losing to a force of will after a doomsday resolves or or a daze. Okay, put them all against the six. I like this hand. Ooh, down to five for the opponent. They are a dark ritual storm. Not storm, but dark. What? Four, three. Yeah, okay. I think. Okay, that was sort of uh, underwhelming. Sorry about that. Uh, to the opponent, that's always a bummer. Um, and yeah, sorry you guys. Uh, not not much of a round one match, but um, okay. Off to round number two. Right on. On the play. Round number two. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. This plays, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna save. Uh, hold on to the the street wraith. Street wraith plus LED means like dark ritual plus doomsday is is uh, an instant win if uh, if we can. Uh, get to resolve our spells. So let's go ahead and ponder here. There's a dark ritual. Yeah, I like these cards. I kind of like all of them. I think um, maybe the dark ritual is the one I'll say, uh, I'll wave goodbye to. So I'll draw the force so that we have, I don't know, force plus days here. 
We could also Street Wraith into the Dark Ritual. I think actually maybe that's what we want to do. But because I want to shuffle Lauren Revealed, uh, or search with Lauren Revealed, uh, at the end of my opponent's uh, upcoming turn. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead. I think I will cycle the Street Wraith to get the Dark Ritual. This looks like death and taxes. No Yorion. Um, okay, let's cycle Street Wraith here. And let's uh, island cycle Yorin revealed. And I think we get an underground sea, and then we fetch scrubland with this flooded strand. Um, Night's Whisper is not a bad one either. But I do think I want to get... Um, I do think I want to get Teferi up, up and running. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plus him. So that... Or will I? Hmm. No, I think I will plus him. That way he can bounce like whatever they might play next turn, and if not, then I guess I'll. I'll if they don't make any plays here, I uh, I think I'll just like cast a or minus him on nothing. Ooh, plateau. Archon. Yeah, that's getting bounced. Um. Uh. I guess I could have dazed it. My daze won't be on. All right, I think so. Hang on, hang on. We have seven cards here. If we night whisper, night whisper, we'll have eight. But we we can hit a land, land drop, uh, which we do, and then we can brainstorm, and hopefully find either one ring or doomsday. Oh, there's doomsday. So we have it all here. What punishes us here is, um, like, if they can somehow get, like, if they have Cavern of Souls and then can go Magus of the Moon. So I think I, because I, part of me wants to, like, pass the turn and then, like, untap Doomsday. But I think, I think I just Doomsday now. So what we can do is get a Cycler and that way, like, even through Magus of the Moon, the LED lets us win the game. Um, let's just get a bunch of cyclers. As long as we have to ferry, they can't, um, they can't do anything like, uh, like, uh, what you call it? Um, I'm blanking on the word here, but yeah, no, Solitude. That's the, the card I was thinking about. Um, so I don't think we have to... Worry. Also, because of Tef Teferi, Devotion to Blue is going to be three, so it's all good. Let's uh, let's put a, a, an extra Doomsday. No, that won't matter because we're cycling twice with Edge of Autumn, so we won't have Black, Black, Black. All right, so I'm going to put Doomsday on the bottom, then Thassa, and then the Cyclers, and then I'm just... No, I'm, I'm actually going to play, play out the LED. If they want to, like, March of Otherworldly, whatever. I think that can hit artifacts. If they want to do that, that's fine. Season Dungeoneer. That doesn't gain haste or anything. They gain the initiative. Get a planes, and we untap and win. Okay, sweet. Off to sideboarding. All right, so sideboard-wise, we want some number of removal. We want some prismatic endings. We want the forces of negation. Um... I think we can cut easily the Veils of Summer. Um, I'll cut the Knight's Whisper. I'll cut a Cycler. Uh, maybe three Plows is one too many. Yeah, I'll cut. I'll cut a Teferi. I don't think Teferi is necessarily that amazing in this matchup. Um. Ugh. I'll keep this. It's uh, a little bit wonky, but we have Force of Will. Um, and hopefully, like, if, if Street Wraith can show us, a, like, lead us to a path of, of, of mana. Uh, I kind of like the One Ring. City of Traitors. Okay, Lotus Petal. And we have a Fable. 
I'm going to cycle the street roof real quick. And I'm going to force of negation this pitching days. The Lorne Revealed is a blue card to force of will. Um, oh, they have more pedal. Okay. Okay. So I think um, the Teferi can now be pitched and we are going to, oops, we're going to island cycle here. We could get basic island just to be able to function if they do manage to resolve a blood moon. Like if they if they go Cavern of Souls next turn, then maybe having the basic island is not the worst. So let's do that. And now it's a toss up. Do we play out the Lotus Petal to like get ahead of a potential um, Archon or do we save it in case they have a way to remove it? Um, uh, I think I play it. I don't think they have much in the ways of removal at this point, but I could be wrong. So my best draw now is Dark Ritual. Okay, another Fable. I mean, I think I forced this. It's I, I'm like super stretched now on resources, and obviously if they can just go like, but they but they they, they don't have another land, or if they do, they don't want to like lose their city. Okay, prismatic ending is, you know, I can remove a chalice in the pinch here, but it'll cost me my, my pedal. Come on, dark ritual, consider. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna consider right now. Hope to hit a land. I do hit a land. So now we are a land away from casting uh, the one ring. Oh, Chrome Mox, that was just, like, I think the perfect thing they could draw for them. Because if they had, if they had drawn another land, then it's, like, oh, Anointed Peacekeeper, and that's really annoying. But if they choose the One Ring, then we can at least, like, Prismatic Ending this. If th so, it'll cost us our Petal. We could also Prismatic Ending the Chrome Mox. Okay, so what do you, what do you take here? You name the one ring, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so I think I lead off with a ponder here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the underground sea and I'm going to prismatic ending the anointed peacekeeper, the annoying peacekeeper. I hope I don't get Magus of the Moon. They can't do that currently with uh only white mana. And then next turn we Dark Ritual the One Ring and draw Ponder and play that. Of course that means we have to have the opponent not do anything here. Oh no. Okay, they didn't float mana. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's draw a card. Let's Ponder. Let's play Ponder. Use all our mana. They are doing something. Oh, they pyroblast. That's interesting. Fair. So that's why they wanted to give up the city. As soon as they get a third mana, they, their deck is unlocked. But right now, they can't really cast anything. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, so the last card in their hand is either a land or a a spell like Pyroblast, because I think what they have in play right now plays every creature, I think more or less, in their deck. So it's probably a second Pyroblast, I would assume, or something like that. Well, let's find out. Okay, no. Um, I'll take Brainstorm, and I will cast a Brainstorm. Uh put away second fetch land. The day seems like something we could cut, but they do play like a like some meaningful four drops. I think maybe I put away the brainstorm actually and fetch here. And then see if Ponder can find me like a force. We're like miles away from resolving Doomsday right now with the mana we have, but 
I think I also want to be able to cast white spells. <laughs> okay, well, let's draw the Force of Will, and then let's draw some Doomsdays next turn. And we we are getting to we are starting to get to draw like a lot of cards with the One Ring, so we'll find a Dark Ritual, I'm sure. Um, there are three left in the deck. Okay, so they found something here. They're gonna power out a big, big something or other. Or is this fourth, fourth Aerolingas? Oh, it's a Chalice for three. That's cool. So I think I probably have. Well, I'm I'm gonna daze this. I think I'll probably find a blue card in the top uh, five, or is it four? So I'll be drawing, it's four, but I know two of them, so it's, it's, it's not guaranteed, but yeah, we could let, ha, we could have let that resolve, but I already spent a prismatic ending, and I think I only have one Teferi, maybe I have two Teferis. Um, all right, let's draw Doomsday plus two more cards. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm just gonna pass here, and then gonna win next turn. I feel like I have an insurmountable advantage here. I uh, would like to save this brainstorm, but... Fourth Aerolingus for two. So, fourth Aerolingus for two is going to take me to... Two man. Uh, it's going to take me to... To nine. Then I untap, I take... Uh, three more, I'm at six. And then, we, I think I'm just going to let the, this resolve. Uh, because if I force here, I, what I really want to do uh, is, is if I don't draw a land, I want to cast Brainstorm next turn to find the land. And um, and then just win instantly. And if I were to force here, and then not find a land, and not or just not be able to win next turn, and then they somehow, like, the next thing they top deck is like a Magus of the Moon or something. Okay, I'm at six. Come on, land. Okay, LED. Well, I was going to say LED does it, but like we can, yeah, let's see. We could also the one ring first. We could the one, we are going to the one ring first. That just needs to, to hit because we have, uh, let me see, what did I board out? We have all the cyclers, right? Or at least the two edge of uh, we oh we have one edge of autumn, and one street wraith, so doomsday I go to three I can still street wraith okay, yeah so we are gonna one ring first, we just need to hit something that makes black mana doesn't cost us life well, we only just got there no we got the the lord revealed as well we could have gotten in the underground sea, okay so. Also, we don't even need to worry about Street Wraith because we have the LED in hand. I just realized here. Let's cast Doomsday. I suppose if they... If they... Um, the card they drew off of the Monarch trigger was a an actual uh, like Mind Break Trap, then we lose... Um, so let's... Let's hope that, that is not the case. Um, so we brainstorm, we sack LED, and then we just cast spells and draw cards, and, and it's all good. Um, I suppose we could like draw and cast a Lorien revealed, and then like draw Thassa plus some petals and like a daze. Yeah, I mean, if they some if they had a mind break trap and they somehow let Lorne reveal resolve. So let's see here. Um, we need l the edge of autumn to be the Lorne revealed. So Lorne revealed. Oh no, never mind. I don't. I don't have the mana for that. Um, I would need a third petal, and then we can't daze anymore. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's do that. Just because I haven't tried this before. So I brainstorm and I draw Lotus Petal, Lorian Revealed, put back Land and... Or maybe I put back Force of Will and Lorian Revealed. Yeah, 
that makes sense. No, wait, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll only be drawing four cards that way. Screw this. I am not going for this showboaty sh shit. Uh, sorry, pardon my French. Um, let's uh, get back the edge. Cut a lotus petal. We don't need that. We don't need any of the petals. We'll put a consider. And um, not a street wraith because I do. If, if somehow they do something before I go off here, I want to be able to force of will, and I'll be at three life. So no street wraith. So brainstorm finds consider. Consider bins. We can say consider bins the street wraith. Draws the edge of autumn. The edge of autumn cycles into Thassa, and lets I guess put a source to plowshares on like at the bottom so they don't see it in case this goes wrong. Yes. Mm, that on the bottom, then Thassa, then uh, Edge, Street Wraith, Consider. Um, did I make my land drop this turn? Oh, I didn't even. So I could have done the Lauren Reveal stuff. Oh well. Let's uh, let's cast brainstorm. We don't need to sack LED yet. We just do that in response to um, to the consider. Uh, I apologize for, to my opponent for making them wait uh, for so long. That was an unnecessary, you know, tirade of what we could do. Put this into the graveyard, cycle this, and hopefully they don't have Mind Break Trap. They do not. All right, GG's on the play for round number three. I mean, hey, what can you do, right? Um... So, probably, probably I just don't fetch here. That's sort of the question. Do we, do we fetch or do we not fetch? Um, would we rather have a fetch land, or would we rather have two fetch lands in hand post Doomsday, or one fetch land, one non-fetch land, and be at one life fewer? Um... A fetch land is as good as a as a cycler, in a sense. So, if they force or, yeah, they would have to be forced. If they force here, I'm gonna force back. I think. Okay, so I'm gonna put island in the pile. We could go for the win next turn, like just put a brainstorm on top, but I don't want to do that. I don't know what I'm uh, what I'm up against, and I think we should be able to make a somewhat safe pile here. Um, so let's put an Edge of Autumn and the Street Wraith. And so next turn we play a Fetch Land. Let's say we draw Edge of Autumn. Uh, no, let's say we draw Street Wraith, put Edge of Autumn beneath it, then a Cavern of Souls and Thassa, and then the Island. Yeah. Okay, so island on the bottom, then Thassa, Cavern, Edge, and the Street of the Wraith. Okay, it's a blue deck. That's good. Oh, that's maybe not a blue deck. Big Noble Hierarch. Okay, so this is an Orcish Bowmasters deck. This is likely uh, Cradle Control. So I think I'm going to cycle the Street Wraith right away. I'm going to play out the fetch land here. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. They could they could also have Endurance, and they could have Thoughtseize. Um, so if they have Thoughtseize and an Endurance, they win here. If they have two Endurance, they win. I think we're good against most other things. 
I don't think they can get to natural order here, but we have force of will to cover that unless they also get like Allosaur Shepherd. Which I suppose they could if they were to get like an untapper into play, which they do. So they tap this, they untap it with a uh, ranger and then play another creature, but then it's, yeah, then they have four mana. Okay. So now they have Dried Arbor. Three mana. So now they can go crazy. I have to Force of Will Natural Order. I don't know for a fact that they play Crater Hoof, but I would assume that they do. Um, it could be that it's been replaced by uh, by Atraxa entirely. So this means if, if there was an Endurance in, in the, their last cards, um, we lose. Let's just see. So let's say it's Crater Hoof. They can't untap Ignoble Hierarch. Crater Hoof is a 5-5, five five and it gains plus X, plus X number of green creatures, so I would take Lethal. Um, we could daze here, but I'm, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. So, there isn't really any way I can think of that I could meaningfully play around uh, them having Endurance here. Because there are three cards in my graveyard and no real way to get them back. Um, I, yeah, well, I'm, I guess that's not entirely true. I could wait for two turns. Um, and not fetch. But do I really want to give them two turns? I don't think so. Um, so I am just going to cycle this. There's no need to fetch the 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 basic island out because they don't have instant speed removal. If they do, then I can just fetch. Uh, so they would need two instant speed removals. They can't be snuffed out because they don't control uh, a swamp. So I think I'm good here. Let's just hope they don't have endurance. Well, there was a long pause. Okay, they didn't have it. Sweet. Okay. Um, so I think we just want a lot of removal here. Um, including the Bowmasters. Sure about Shouldred. I think I'm um, maybe Shouldred, like Shouldred with the One Ring. Hamana, Hamana. Question is if we even want to be a Doomsday deck anymore. Teferi is not the greatest. Um, Veil of Summer is good because they have their own Bowmasters in discard, but then again, it's not amazing, so maybe two copies is fine. Um,. Maybe this is just ridiculous to, to even consider all of this, uh, like, to cut Doomsday. I don't, I don't know. But let's at least cut some of the Doomsday shenanigans here. Um, I don't want to be going off Hellbent through LED uh, against the Endurance deck. Um, maybe the... Maybe Days on the play is not the best. We can at least shave one. And yeah, I think the cyclers can also go. So okay, we, we we keep the doomsday package intact. We load up on removal and a few more bombs. So we're kind of bomb heavy, but that is kind of what this deck wants to be doing. All right. Um, I'm going to keep this. It's, uh, for, it's a little light on protection and a little light on mana. And we're not unlikely to get Thoughtseize here, but we do, we are able to, I guess like if, you th if you're them and you Thoughtseize this, do you not maybe just take Ponder? Just to be able, like, then this, this hand might go nowhere. Well, let's find out, because they're tapping black mana. They could take Shoulder at Surgical Her, if they have Surgical in hand. That's still sort of just card equality. Um, it, like card economy wise, it's a, that's a two for two. And they lose four life, but um, but that would be kind of annoying. But then we'd still have the doomsday uh, at least. Okay, they do take the ponder. Okay, 
So time to draw lands or cantrips. Or a dark ritual. I mean, I'd take that. Okay, Lord and Reveal is good. We can get a, a Tundra and uh, have Plow for their first uh, threat that we feel is worth of a plow, is worthy of a Plow. Ignoble Hierarch. I don't think that's the Plow target. I think we have to save Plow for like a uh, uh, Fiend Artisan or... I don't know, like, uh, what's his face? The other guy. The, uh, the, uh, Alsor Shepherd. Maybe? Okay, they move to second main. And they Pithing Needle. I'm gonna Island Cycle now. And I wonder what they name here. I don't know if they were looking at my Exile Zone and saw the One Ring. If they named that, that's pretty annoying. I don't think I'm gonna daze this. I'm going to let them um, name something. They probably, hopefully they name a cycler. Oh, they do name the one ring. Very clever. Okay. Well, we're edging towards uh, Shildred. Do I actually plow this, though? Because their cradle then stops tapping for mana. I, I think I just talked myself into that. Let's go. We have things that can remove the one, uh, the pithing needle, but um, but not that many things. I'll daze this. Uh, I'd hate setting myself back, but we can draw dark ritual, and I do kind of want to try and keep them sort of stunted here. And they don't have a land drop, so that's good. There is a Lauren revealed. Okay. So we can uh, fetch Scrubland here, and then we can end of turn uh, Lauren revealed for Underground Sea, and then we can cast Doomsday. And while they do seem to be the sort of deck that has interaction in hand right now, uh, maybe we can like get a Teferi. I don't think I boarded at all of them, right? Did I? Oh no, I did. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, I did. Well, that's 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 unfortunate. I'm not so sure then. Maybe we just go for shoulder then. Yeah, I'm gonna go for shoulder. I'm a coward. Come on, pass, 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 pass. Oh, another Zenith? Okay, you can have it. I can't do anything about it. So now they can also tap their Cradle. But they, okay, so they don't have any one drops, which I guess makes sense. They didn't have them before. I'm gonna fetch, I guess, the Thin. Doesn't really matter. Plow is. <laughs> Do I just want to do the same thing again? No. I think this turn, actually, I'm going to make Shieldred here, and then I'm going to be the control deck. I guess if they play Grist next turn, that's really annoying. Um, that could be the card in their hand. Um, but then at least we can like untap, play Shieldred number two, and, and then plow uh, one of their things. But I am worried that, like, in their hand is, like, Surgical Extraction or, like, uh, Endurance and whatnot. Okay, there is Shepherd. And luckily we have the second Plow. I'm going to attack first. And then I'm going to Plow Shepherd. And then we could Doomsday. But I think I'm just comfortable doing what I'm doing right now. Okay, what's this? They're tapping mana. This is just Endurance. Get it into play. Oh, Bowmaster. Okay. Uh, I pass here. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I just clicked it. Yeah, because now they, they can just gum up the ground forever, and they can, like, they have a lot of mana out of the cradle. 
So if they just have natural order here, I guess they don't have that many green creatures, but if they get a Traxa, then I'm just never beating that. Once upon a time, okay. Let's see what is revealed. Second Cradle would be scary. Fiend Artisan would be frustrating, but not unbeatable. Okay, Crater Hoof. I hope that's because that was the only creature, and not because they uh, they uh, think they can pl they can play it out. So if they have second cradle, then they would have played it before combat, right? Okay. These may or may not actually end up mattering here. So if I attack them here, and they go to six, then they go to four. Let's attack by them was a little aggressive. Um, I could play second Shouldred just to have a blocker, but if it comes to that, then Shouldred dies, then everything is sort of not that good. Um, oh, I don't know. So their hand is uh, hoof. If they have second cradle, let's just count it out here. Next turn they make three mana, another three, that's six, seven, eight. 9 with the Arbor, so they can play around days anyway. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just... Like, this this shoulder in my hand is not doing anything else. So, it might save us for one turn, and then, like, who knows, if we draw a Brainstorm or something, we can Doomsday and win if they don't have... Like, also have uh, Endurance. So they're at 5, that means they're at 3 if... There is an endurance. Oh crap! <laughs> Cradle is now tapping for five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I mean, if they don't have another land drop, then we can actually we we can daze this. Um, if and even if not, then we can absorb some damage and maybe not be dead. And that was their endurance, hopefully. Reclaimer. Okay, well that's sort of just mana neutral. They have to tap out for this hoof. Uh, there is no way for them to make mana. Yoink. Wow, dazing an 8-drop. Feels good, man. They don't have any good attacks here. Also, they have to... Obviously, they have to block. So does this is this a deck that would play more than one crater hoof? I don't think I, I I think there's at least a good chance that it doesn't. And that means that worst that could happen next turn is like our I don't know, like natural order for Atraxa. Which then doesn't help them because they'll they'll be at one when they start that turn and they won't get to gain any life. Maybe they have like, I don't know, scavenging ooze or something in their deck. I, I that could be a thing. I don't know that there's another way for them to gain life. I think my opponent is conceding. Yeah. All right. Cool. Three and zero. Oh. Um. All right. All right. All right. On the play for round number four. So that's three out of four rounds I've been on the play here against Fuzz sixty five, whose name I for I forget, but like real life name, but it is one of the Doomsday Bros. Okay. Uh, we get a, a very very acceptable hand here we can we goldfish uh, turn one win here we have a protected uh, pass the turn win with uh, veil of summer so let's go for it there was a pause yeah too much pausing here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for the for the unprotected win okay let's hope they don't have double force because then we are looking pretty pretty sad. Oh, okay, the Street Wraith. I thought I just saw the life flash. Um, so they are looking for a, for a force, I guess. Okay, they didn't find it. Doomsday resolves. Um, so let's put Cavern of Souls. So this almost assuredly is the Doomsday Mirror. Um, Thassa's Oracle. Um, Street Wraith. Second Edge. 
and I guess like a dark ritual so that we can cast the doomsday in our hand if somehow it all goes wrong. So we'll we'll put dark ritual on the bottom, then Thassa, then Cavern, then the the cyclers. Yeah, let's try that. I'm pretty sure this is doomsday and they don't have removal. Um, so let's hope they, they don't kill us on turn one. Um, we need to put the cavern above the Thassa if we want to keep hold of our... Oh no, wait, we can't next turn. Yeah, so the Dark Ridge of Doomsday plan is not going to work, because I was going to... In my mind, I was thinking I'll, I'd edge away the Tundra, and then I could edge away the cavern. Again, we could play, like, uh... We could play a slower, like, multiple pass the turn pile of things. Okay. So they probably take Edge of Autumn here. Yep, that sort of prolongs our our uh, situation here. Uh, now we, we, we can actually get to Dark Ritual Tombstay again, because we can save the Underground Sea. Okay, they thought these is again, so we have to cycle now, and luckily we put uh, Cavern above the above the Thassa. We won't get to Dark Ritual Doomsday, because Doomsday will be discarded, but now they get to take our Doomsday, and then we get to win. Unless they somehow play like a main deck snuff out. Unfair in the mirror match to have such a good opening hand. Um, okay, so we want Shouldred, we want Bowmasters, we want two more copies of Force. We may or may not want Carpet of Flowers. No, I think we do actually want that. Um, and we may want a couple of copies of Plow because they are likely to be playing uh, maybe their own Shouldreds. I think we can cut um, all the fast ways to win with Doomsday. That may be, that's a bit risky, but it's not, but I, th I still think that's where I want to be going with this. Um, let's cut, ugh, I sort of ran out of things I wanted to cut. I don't know, maybe one carpet is enough. And, oh, I really don't want to cut Night's Whisper, but that's sort of the card I'm drawn towards cutting. We can cut a Lorne Reveal, because this is not like a fetch land, a wasteland matchup. Um, and let's cut uh, the One Ring, because we are boarding in sort of other bomb spells. The time walk off the one ring, quote unquote time walk, is not as good versus a Doomsday because uh, Doomsday just wins. Okay, this is an awkward hand that I'm going to keep for science uh, purposes and we'll just lose to a turn one, uh, turn one win. Um, if they thought these is here, I'm not sure what they, what they would, would take here. It's also interesting and worth noting that they are playing, like, they seem to be. be hard in on discard. Okay, so they take Veil, making me think they have more. Okay, we draw a blue spell, so that's good. Let's just pass here. They can preordain. Not, no, uh, not, not sure if I should be happy or sad they didn't take Plow, because it might just mean they don't have any creature in their hand. Um, and if they had taken it, then I'd be, I'd be scared. Oh, cool. please, black mana, come on. I need, I need it. I need black mana. Well, I mean, hopefully you don't have force back, but, um, I kind of think you do. Yep. All right. So they'll be at seven. Um... Let's hope they build a really slow pile with lots of Street Wraiths and that we draw black mana. How about that? What was pitched? Yeah, they didn't. They don't know about the Bowmasters and hope. if I'm lucky, it's not on their radar at all and they build a, a sort of a slow pile here. Okay, come on, please, black mana. I'll take a Ponder. Yep. Um... So I am just going to quickly have a look at their exile pile to see how many dazes and forces there are. 
So one force, two force, uh, three force, four force of will, one days, uh, only one days. They pitched, okay, so this was the days that was pitched to their force. They do play Shouldreth. And no LED. I don't see any Edge of Autumns. So they might just be in the pile. I don't see any Street Wraith. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna... I am actually going to Dark Ritual here. They could have Force of Negation. And if they do, so be it. But if they have... I'm worried about days. They might just be playing only one days. Uh, that's certainly a thing. And this this means I'm not playing uh, the one ring next turn. But I don't think uh, I don't think that's what this is going to be about. Okay. So they're at six. Let's just see if they could just untap and win here. Oh yeah. And they know about Plow, so they're not putting Thassa into play prematurely. Okay, so now they're at two. Is there, do they have Edge of Autumn in hand or just, yeah. Okay, I'm guessing they have uh, Camera Souls in hand and that's their land drop. Ooh. Nice. One life wins, I love those. All right. You got me. All right, so that was uh that was unfortunate. So they had some they had fluster storm, they had some forces of negation, and they had uh they had shouldered. Not sure if if we're happy enough with two plows, I think we probably are. We also have to ferry that can like bounce a shouldered. I think I'm okay with this setup here. All right, let's see if we can get a good one. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's not amazing. Uh, ideally, we would have uh, a green mana here. Uh, to to help against the turn one thoughtsies, but we do get to lore and reveal for the trop. We can then like night whisper if we want to, or you know do something else. So I'm getting tropical island here, and there is a dark ritual. So I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna veil of summer here, or am I? No, I'm I'm gonna Night Whisper actually. If they want to fluster storm that, uh, if they have fluster storm plus force, then I'd rather have them like fluster this. Okay. Or how about you don't fluster anything and just let me have it. A land would be a sick draw right now. There's a land. Um. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to. Dark ritual Shouldred here. I would rather. I think Shouldred is is a safer win. So they force pitch ponder. I veil if they fluster or force again or days. I guess, then it's okay. Like um, we have more things we can follow up with in the subsequent turns. Okay, so they veil summer just to draw a card, and hope to hit uh, an interaction spell. I think. But they don't. Oh, sweet. And that even made them spend a veil and we drew force. That is, that's how you draw it up. Resolved Shouldred, let me tell you, in Doomsday, that's like a pretty hard card to beat, but it's not impossible. To resolve Doomsday and then win with Shouldred on the board is, is quite brutal. So I would imagine like them winning here involves like their own shouldered or like finding a removal spell. 
Yes, hook it straight into my veins, cast those cantrips. There's a duress. Um, yeah, you can uh, take my force of will, I'm guessing. Okay, they concede. Phew, wow, 4-0. Oh. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, go for that trophy match. Okay, trophy match on the play once more. Wow, been lucky today. Let's uh, let's keep this. Yeah, or rather, let's choose to be on the play and then let's keep this hand. Very very interesting hand here. Put a mulligan to six. It's funny. There was a time when prismatic ending was like a very popular card in the format, and that kind of made me not want to ever play out lotus petal in the blind, but. I think there are more dazes than prismatic endings in the format. And I think I would rather, like, if I go chop, pedal, they know I'm a combo deck, obviously. But if it is, like, a tempo matchup, if it's, like, scam, and they have, like, grief plus back it up with daze to, to daze my veil, then, then that's, like, I would much rather, even though it costs me the pedal, it's, that's still a, an exchange I, I'm, I'm pretty happy to do, so... And I don't think there are that many other, like, main deck cards that kill Lotus Petals. Okay, Pony Mulligan's to six. And let's see here if me putting in Tividar's Crusade and all the white cards uh, will bear fruit in, in, like, me facing either Combo or Rug Delver or some other Delver tempo deck. Facing Mountain Chrome Mox. Yikes. It's not really... Not really what I'm hoping to, to play against, not going to lie. So, ooh, what was pitched? Ugh, Blood Moon, no! Okay, Chalice, I think I brainstorm here. God damn it. Okay, well, put away the Veil, because that can't be cast. And then, yeah, Chalice is in. We could we could play to fairy now and then bounce the chalice but then i would actually rather do that next turn and then try to win i would require us to draw like another petal or a brainstorm and also for them not to have like another like a blood moon Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, this is going to fetch Basic Island. And then pretty much I need to draw. So I need what I need to draw here is a Lotus Petal. There are two left in the deck. Um, that needs to be... I mean, I guess we could... We could like just give up this land now. Let's get in case we draw like days or force of will here. We don't. We draw a stupid brainstorm. Okay. Well, your blood moon is in, my friend. We could play Teferi. Teferi can like bounce the blood moon, but not like then. It's not bouncing the chalice. The blood moon is just going to come down next turn anyways. A uh, a lotus petal, por favor. Days. God damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. So maybe the plan here is actually to ferry anyways. And then hope to... Like, we will, we will not bounce anything right now. We will plus to ferry. I uh, hope that we just don't get like run over by a haste creature next turn, or some other like a, a like a fury. If we find like lines, uh, no, uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, lines eye diamond. Oh come on, really? Okay, the fairy's down to one life, or one loyalty. What was pitched? Another blood moon. As you do. Well, at least we get to daze this. And now it's like my island and my Teferi versus the top of their deck. Another daze. 
could be worse, I guess. Because I don't think they play anything that costs less than three mana. So either they draw a land next turn, which doesn't kill me, or they draw uh, something that can be dazed. Yeah, another rabble master. Get out of here. I don't like my position though. I feel like uh this is this is pretty terrible. <laughs> so any lotus petal once Teferi gets to three is interesting. Okay. This I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle the Lauren revealed here. Um because if we hit a the one ring, it's important to have like, we if we have the mana to cast it, that's good. Also, it might come up that we bounce uh, Blood Moon with Teferi, in which case we unlock the colored mana. But it might also just be that they cast something now that just ruins our day. Looks like they didn't find anything, so maybe a four drop? Oh no, there is something here. What is this? Another Chalice, probably. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm kind of happy they didn't put, drop that on zero, at least. Um, but it does mean that we are not casting... Well, I mean, it means now that if I draw a land uh, next turn that can somehow, if there is no Blood Moon, get to, get to black mana, then we can hard cast Doomsday. But let's see. A lot of things have to go... Okay, shoot, that was a... We dodged a bullet there. Come on, land. Hmm... Okay. I mean, Teferi, Bounce, Blood Moon. Fetch. Play another Teferi. See what what card we draw here? I think I like that. We even drew a land. So I guess... Um, hmm. I guess I just go for Doomsday, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, so there's a world where they, like, if they get to a third chalice and they just drop it on two, and or on zero, rather, if they drop it on zero, then, then we can't, I don't think we can't win. Um, but, uh, well, we can't play around everything here. Um, so let's say we draw Lotus Petal. We drop second to fairy from our hand because they tap out next turn to play Blood Moon because that's how good life is. We bounce Blood Moon. We will have tapped the island, sack the petal that we drew and tapped uh, whatever, one of the, like the scrubland. Then we suddenly have underground sea tundra. The fairy draws us edge of autumn, which draws us another edge of autumn, which draws Thassa. I guess also Street Wraith, because we want to be with an empty library. So what happens now, they have four, right now they have a lot of mana because there's no Blood Moon. So if they draw a Chalice, drop it for two, it would cost them four mana. That means they can't cast Blood Moon. Then we don't need to bounce Blood Moon, we can just bounce the Chalice instead. Yeah, so basically I think what I'm dodging, what I'm looking to dodge here off the top of their deck is a Chalice that they drop for zero. Yeah, let's try this. So, uh, Thas on the bottom. Do -do -do -do. Draw some of these cards. Just make sure the petal is the top card. All right, pass. Come on, don't draw Chalice. That's that's all I ask. Trinosphere. Um, Trinisphere, yeah, huh? Well, this means, this puts a spanner in our works. But I don't think, I don't think it's gonna ruin everything, right? Um, so their hand is the Blood Moon. So we have six mana, so if they play Blood Moon next turn, then we 
pay three for Teferi. We still have three left. Yeah. Let's try this on. Please, no, no chalice. No chalice. Please, please, please. Come on, just Blood Moon. But yeah, that's right. That's all you needed to do. And then you can't play chalice now because it will cost you three and you have two mana. All right. Sweet. Um, let's just plus, plus this for good measure. So, fortunately, we can now make white mana off of this Lotus Petal. We'll keep the one we just played. So, this is one, like, I'm not trying to make a case that Gitaxian Probe wouldn't be absolutely insane in this deck, but this is one of the, the situations where, like, under a Trinisphere, having Street Wraith and, uh, and Edge of Autumn is just actively better, because they don't, they aren't spells, so they don't, we don't have to pay the Trinisphere tax. Okay, so we're bouncing Blood Moon, and then drawing Edge of Autumn in the process, and we have a handy three mana here. Um... And we only need to cycle twice. Sweet! Wow, I thought that was... I thought that that was a goner for sure. Uh, we didn't have to, like... We got lucky on that when we drew that second daze, when they drew their second uh, Rabble Master. Alright, um, on to the sideboard. So, we certainly want Force of Negation. We certainly want... Prismatic ending. We we are they do have goblins in their deck, but I don't think we want a Tividar's Crusade. Um, I think we may want some number of plows for like Magi of the Moon. And finally, I think Shoulder is actually pretty good versus uh, versus all their ancient tombs and like ground threats that you can come up the ground. That's eight cards. Don't know if we exactly have eight cards to cut here, but we can certainly cut the three Veil of Summer. Uh, their chalices are going to be on one most of the time. We saw how Lotus Petal is just, like, very, very important, so let's not cut that. Um, mm, Lorne Reveal also very, very important. Teferi, very good. Like, I'll, most of this is, is, is pretty good. Maybe, like, the one ring, we can cut one copy. Although, that is sort of a, a, a card that can be played through a Blood Moon, through a Trinisphere... Mm. Alright, I'm actually going to do something I don't didn't think I was going to do, which is to cut my, my same turn win here. Uh, I might regret that. We're on 24 blue cards right now, that's fine. So we can also cut, like, a cycler or two. Um, and let's maybe... Like, as soon as they start playing Rabble Masters or Fable of the Mirror Breaker, then Teferi is instantly becomes worse, but he is the like a bulwark against all their their lock pieces. I, I like Knight's Whisper because it, it draws cards uh, even in the face of Chalice. Um, okay, let's cut a daze on the draw. How about that? Okay. I want force of whatever effects here. And, or, yeah, for, force of will, force of negation, and some lands. I, I'll, I'll take I'll take something like that. Okay, I kind of got what I wanted, so let's, uh, let's keep this opponent mulligans to six. Okay, they found six they liked. And just... Uh, Shadow Skull, Smashing, and Pass. Okay. So, let's uh, ponder here and find some mana. None of that is mana. They're good cards, but... They are actually good cards. I am going to draw the Force here, so we, we have double Force. And there's a Doomsday coming, and a Brainstorm, and we, we have Dark Ritual, so... I... Even though, like, I would say 9 out of 10 ponders showing no, no mana there, I probably shuffle, but that was too good to pass. Okay, Blood Moon. I'm going to pitch to Fairy, actually, because it may come to... Like, I think we want to cast Ponder now. Oh no, actually we don't, right? Because we want the Doomsday as well. So we want to brainstorm and really, really hope there's a land underneath in one of the two cards beneath the Doomsday. And if not, at least blue cards. Yeah, okay. 
Let's put away a Dark Ritual and put away a Night's Whisper. And unfortunately, sad faced, we, uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that, should I? The Dark Ritual, the extra Dark Ritual. Another Blood Moon, get out of here. I won't be able to, to defend against a third, a third thingy. Come on, land that makes black mana, please. Yes. Oh, first Madigan ending. I wouldn't actually hate that either, but okay. So, Mindbreak Trap is live here, but not going to play around that. Okay, they have F6. So the question now is, um, what to do? Hmm. <laughs> um, we have Knight's Whisper, which can draw us. Well, I guess, like, Brainstorm can find Lotus Petal, the Night's Whisper, no, there's, but without the LED, we can't, we can't get to, to make um, Thassa's Oracle next turn. So what we can do is try to build, like, a, a strong enough pile that can beat, um, Matt, like, a, a, a moon effect. Um, so to beat both a moon and also be able to beat a chalice for two, we need both two petals and a cavern of souls. I am kind of happy that we have these two cards in hand because that means we can, like if, let's say what they do next turn is they make like a, um, a goblin rabble master, then we, what we can do is just cast, uh, like both Brainstorm and Night's Whisper, actually. We would be then be at 7, I guess, no, 6 from the one we would have taken, and then we still survive, and we still probably get to win. So this loses to Chalice for 0 plus Moon or Trinus... No, not Trinus. Moon plus Chalice for 0 next turn. That that th This pile loses to that, but I think that's okay. And we can also lose in other ways, but yeah... Um, so let's put a uh, cavern on the bottom, and then I guess uh, Thassa, and then these three. And maybe we draw Lotus Petal first? Just in. No, that doesn't really make sense. Wait, did I put cavern on the bottom? That was not, not so good. Okay, there's some Magas of the Moon. And they do have three mana, so if they can follow this up with, um, with like, yeah, I'm gonna play this out in case they have like a Trinisphere. But yeah, if uh, if they can follow this up with another creature, we lose, because uh, I I do need to draw like to pass a turn four times. Oh come on, Blech. okay. So I take what I take three, and then I take. Uh, Four, six, eight. So I'm dead. Yep. Um, I didn't put removal. It doesn't matter because like I only have the two petals. So too bad. They had three blood moons, and we couldn't beat that. And we could have beat it if we had fucking lineside diamond. Hmm. Maybe we we do one lineside diamond, and then maybe also consider. And then maybe like Shieldred. Like Shieldred, if if I had resolved Shieldred and not Doomsday, I think we, we just pretty we probably just beat that. Uh like beat what they're doing. It's not a given though. Um let's cut it to fairy and cut uh it's so hard. I'll cut of the one ring. Like like Chet, like Dark Ritual to the one ring, and then they make Magus of the Moon or Blood Moon, especially Magus of the Moon, then I'm not really like super high on, on where I go from there because I'll be protected for one turn, but then I'm going to start taking a lot of damage. So maybe the one ring, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's keep this. Need to find black mana. So opponent mulligan to six last game and still won. 
And now they keep seven, so that's obviously scary. Um, let's tropical island here. Make them think moon is more valuable than it is. Well, we get another shot. And we're going to draw the polluted delta. Yeah. Hmm. Shells for one. Fuck. I feel like, um... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, no, actually, hang on. I'm going to force this. Then I'm going to Doomsday next turn. I'm going to make a pile. I'm going to draw land here. I'm going to make a pile that has... Uh, gosh, I don't know. I'm just going to lose to Blood Moon, aren't I? Um, good thing about having the island is we only need the one petal to succeed. Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. All right, we obviously need Thassa and at least one petal. It is not unlikely that we will need to. Is Teferi uh, a card we're interested in? I think we do need the cavern. Like, if they end up with the, the, the chalice on two, then, uh, then that's terrible for us. Um, we could also, like... If they go Chalice for one or whatever, maybe LED is a card we want. Yeah, LED beats the Blood Moon, right? Um, we would need a Cycler. Uh, where does this pile leave us? So, if they Blood Moon next turn, if they Magus of the Moon, or Blood Moon, doesn't matter. We just... Okay, it's our turn. We take a draw step, we draw say LED and then um, we can draw pedal and then Knight's Whisper and off to the races um, so that would be two draw steps plus two draws from the Knight's Whisper and one from Edge yeah I think I think this can play so let's um, let's put Cavern on the bottom and then Thassa then Edge and then, so let's say it's LED. Um, and they, let's say they don't, just don't have a play, or the, their their next turn they play, um, um, they play the thing, um, uh, like a rabble master or whatever. So we play LED, we cycle, or we cast Knight's Whisper, we draw Petal plus Edge of Autumn, and then we Edge of Autumn into. Edge of Autumn into Thassa. We have one card in the deck, but they would be tapped out, I guess. If they have open red mana, we're not going to do it. They could also have like Spirit Guide Pyroblast. That would be a hell of a way for us to go out. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it like this. Um, oh, I already regret this. Maybe I was supposed to. Yeah, if I put Petal on top, then we can Knight's Whisper into LED plus Edge. Yeah, ah, uh, that was a punt. Okay, well, as you can tell, there's a lot, a lot to consider in in this uh, in this matchup here. Good thing is the city; they're gonna lose that if they play another land here. So I just hope they don't also have like a a Chromox. There's a chalice for zero. Oh no, oh no! Don't do it. No, don't also have Blood Moon. Do not have it. Okay, Trinisphere. Thank Christ. Okay. Well, I now they have... They could have, like, another Soul Land plus a Blood Moon. And they showed us last game, or game one, that they, they prioritize Trinisphere over Soul Land, or over Blood Moon. So I don't feel like I'm out of this yet. Oh, but that Chalice for Zero was so good. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna... I'm gonna cast this while the, while the, the casting is... Is there, um, but yeah, again, dead to Soul Land plus Blood Moon. I think we beat everything else. We have the Cavern for a Chalice on two, which I don't think they can get mana to cast here. Come on, please, 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 please. No Soul Land, no Soul Land. No Soul Land, please. No, 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 no. Please, no Blood Moon. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, thank, thank goodness. Okay, we do it. Are we really doing it? Are, is there a trophy in our, in our future? I think there is. So let's cycle this. Oh, man. Well, that was lovely. We did it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Mark Tobias, you made a beast of a deck. And I surely in do enjoy playing it. All right, let's recap here. Um, we got a trophy, which is awesome. Uh, it was on a little bit of a, of a cheap backdrop because our uh, uh, what was the I, I even forget the round one opponent I think who just conceded after like one game or is that the the, the blue black reanimator deck um, but we uh, we played some real matchups we uh, sadly never got uh, to face the goblins deck that I've been playing against uh, multiple times recently but we can now we can rejoice in the fact that uh, if this if this uh, list is published in the deck dump, there will be a Tividar's Crusade. Uh, we didn't play against a Tempo deck or a Blue Control deck, which is sort of what I would like to play against. Tempo in order to, to test and learn, and Blue Control because they're really fun and exciting matchups, and I think we're pretty favored. Um, or at the very least, it's sort of even. Um, and there's a lot of play to those. I think, like... Um, I think most stuff here, like, in the sideboard, was somewhat okay relevant. Uh, the shouldered, uh, the shouldered beat Doomsday, and but not, didn't do a whole lot else. Um, we didn't get to do a whole lot of the One Ring, but I think there was like one. Uh, was that against the Boris Initiative? I forget. There, there was like uh, at least one of the matches where uh, we got to ring, uh, ring for a whole lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on this. This is. A super cool way to play Doomsday, and yeah, like I, I was talking to to Kai about this, and I think fundamentally the deck, um, like if you have, let me just stack them up here. If you have these nine cards, then a, a whole different like like a whole different number of decks can be built around those nine cards and multiple of them will be very good. I think this deck is very good. I think like pure turbo, like multiple personal tutors, five, six cyclers, whatever, uh, six rituals, four pedals. I think that's a very good deck as well. Uh, there are probably other very like plausible and viable ways to build Doomsday. That is sort of also part of the reason I really love this, this, this combo. It's just like, so compact um but i really do think this this approach that mark tobias has dreamed up is like very very good and very legit and something that i at least had not really uh tried or seen before like i had i had tested the one ring very little in in like a traditional turbo list where i pretty much just like swapped two personal tutor which was the number of personal tutor i was playing with two the one ring and I think I think the beauty of what Mark did is maintain the like maintain enough speed for this deck to still hit the right spots in in the format and be able to win fast. Like we do win on turn one with this deck. Not as often as with pure turbo, but not as rarely as with some of the like slow doomsday piles that you've seen me build in the past with like two cyclers one pedal like four baleful strix or uro or whatever I've, I've been trying like this still has let me just find the the lotus petals as well because i think that's those are important too like it has this sort of core of really fast doomsday explosive cards but then it just also gets to have in spite of like, in spite of all these, like, duels, it has a pretty solid mana base because the Lauren Revealed is just, like, very good. Um, and because of the one ring, you because you get to, quote-unquote, time walk when this enters uh, play, you do get to, I don't know, approach 
every matchup a little bit differently. If if the one ring is is sort of on the horizon for you, then you can you can be a little bit more sort of um, free with your life total than you would be in a normal doomsday deck. Um, there's a lot of time in a normal Doomsday deck where it's like, okay, if I pass the turn now, then they get that one attack that is going to fundamentally change what can happen and what I'm able to do. But with the one ring, it's like, no, they don't get that attack. I take one damage from for the card that I'm drawing. Then I untap and I have just a stored two, like draw two cards and I have all my mana open and they've not been able to do anything. They haven't been able to discard me. They haven't been able to attack me. That is really, really good i think the one ring is just fantastic also as you can tell i'm, I'm sort of on a high uh, from just trophying um but that like the, i played a league with this exact list except for the tividar's crusade i played a league yesterday and 4-1 i was 4-0 heading into the into the final round so i'm like 9-1 in the last 10 matches that's obviously gonna gonna feel great and have me all high about how great the deck is and then if i play a league tomorrow and go 0-3 drop and the same happens uh, the next day, then obviously, you know, my mood will be different. That is magic. That is, that is like, I think every deck is capable, well, every real quote-unquote deck is, a, is capable of, like, running hot and running cold. So, anyway, sorry, I'm going to stop talking and just quickly say thank you for watching, and I'll be back with some more Legacy. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.